Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I hope you're having a good day. I am excited you could join me today. As I stated in my last video, I'm moving on to Christmas cards now. Christmas is my absolute favorite time of the year and I just love making Christmas cards. Today I'm making a super quick and easy card. I'll be focusing on heat embossing for this card. I'm using the Woodland Silhouette stamp set. It has four images and seven sentiments and a cute little snowflake. I'm just using the Christmas tree today though. I thought I would pair it up with the sentiments assortment Merry Christmas only because I'm making a 5x7 card and I need a really big sentiment to go with it. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is cut a piece of white cardstock to four and three quarters by six and a half inches. Then since I'm going to be double stamping images, I'm going to use my Misty stamping tool. I just line the tree up where I want it to go. And then I'm going to use the Ranger Embossing Powder Snowflake Tinsel. I'm going to have that ready to go after I stamp my image because the Distress Oxide ink doesn't stay wet as long as Versamark ink does. And I'm going to stamp my image with Distress Oxide Rustic Wilderness. I'm going to stamp it a couple of times, like I said, because I want it to be really wet for the embossing powder. I'm going to stamp one image at a time and then heat emboss after I stamp each image. I pour the embossing powder really quickly onto the image after I stamp it so the ink doesn't dry. And then when my heat tool is good and hot, I go ahead and I heat emboss the image. I'm going to keep repeating the process until all three of my trees are heat embossed onto the card front. I'm going to take a piece of white craft foam and I'm going to adhere it to the back of the heat embossed card front. And then I'm going to adhere the card front to a piece of black cardstock that I cut to 4 and 14 16 by 6 and 3 quarters. Now I'm going to put some silver string around my card. I should have put it on the card front before I adhered it to the black cardstock, but that's okay. The glue is still wet, so I have time to slide it under the cardstock. I wrap it around three times and then I'm, I just use my tweezers to kind of hold it, you know, the string in place so that I can tie the bow easier. I tie it in a knot and then I add a little bit of glue and then I'm just going to tie two bows because I wanted two on the card front. I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment. I'm going to use this big Merry Christmas. I stamp it with some Versa fine ink. I didn't use my embossing powder bag because I'm using clear embossing powder, but you can if you want to. I'm going to pour clear embossing powder on it, and then when my heat tool is good and hot, I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment. I adhere the card front to the 5x7 card base, and then to finish off the card, I use my silver this calls for confetti and I adhere one onto the middle of the bow just to give it a little like sparkle. And that's basically going to complete my card for today. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the card. Be sure to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel and their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great inspirational videos. Also, check out their website for all their new releases. And as always, thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.